Much more is being learned tonight about some of the alleged victims of a massive investment scheme already being dubbed the world's biggest fraud. Bernard Madoff, the former chairman of the Nasdaq stock market, is charged with duping clients right across the globe out of a staggering $50 billion. Among those claiming to have lost money, clients of at least one Canadian bank, the Royal, along with some famous names and people who were just trying to save for their retirement. CTV's Joan Melvin has details. Joan and Arnold Sinkin just found out they've lost it all. Just everything that we planned for a whole life. After a lifetime of hard work, a dream home in Florida, their nest egg gone. How this man has been able to do this for so many years. The man, Bernard Madoff, a Wall Street icon and one of their own. At the Palm Beach Country Club, they all invested with Bernie, no questions asked. And if double-digit returns sounded too good to be true, well, they all trusted Bernie. They all put money with Bernard Madoff, and he seemed like a good guy, except he wasn't. It wasn't just seniors snagged in the scam, but the super rich and famous. Charities run by Holocaust survivor Eli Wiesel, director Steven Spielberg, and real estate tycoon Mort Zuckerman. Gone, disappeared, into the air, vanished, and I'm embarrassed by it, and I'm outraged by it. Even some of the world's biggest banking institutions face losses in this $50 billion fraud. This may well be the largest financial crime in world history. It's called a Ponzi scheme, and it works like this. Money from new investors is used to pay the old investors, sort of robbing Peter to pay Paul. But you need a steady stream of new money. It worked until the economy tanked and investors wanted to cash out. Twice Madoff was investigated by regulators, and nothing came of it. If we find out that the SEC was there, was looking, and missed telltale signs, you know, then they did fall down on the job. Madoff confessed it all to his son, saying he had absolutely nothing left. And all that market magic, the wealth he produced for his investors, was, as he said, just one big lie. Joy Melvin, CTV News, Washington.